SpaceX has long set a goal of creating a fully reusable rocket, and they created Starship. The company plans to reuse almost every part of this spacecraft, but there is one thing that seems impossible, the heat shield. Yes, the biggest technological challenge, the final wall, or I should say the final tile between SpaceX's founder and his goal of a fully reusable vehicle. But not for long. Elon recently revealed plans for a new thermal protection system that's designed to be the game changer. Wear your sunglasses on, because these new heat shields going to be shiny. In a recent tweet, he expressed unwavering confidence, stating that the company would achieve a fully reusable heat shield by 2025 and perfect the technology by 2026. Such bold assurances suggest that Elon may have a game-changing development up his sleeve. A clue to this potential breakthrough could be found in another tweet he posted not long ago, hinting at a secret that may be behind his remarkable confidence. Back in November, he mentioned bringing back the metal heat shield. To many, a metal heat shield may sound strange, but to those who have been following the development of Starship for a long time, it actually feels familiar. Indeed, this is not the first time Elon has considered the option of a metallic thermal protecting system. Back in late 2018 and early 2019, Musk took to Twitter to announce that SpaceX was pursuing an exotic metallic heat shield that would be cooled largely by flowing liquid methane through tiny holes on its exterior, effectively sweating away energy and preventing steel tiles from melting. He plans for this shield to also be made of steel, cover the haft of the ship, and incorporate a water or methane cooling system to dissipate heat during re-entry. Musk said, you just need essentially a stainless steel sandwich. You flow either fuel or water in between the sandwich layer, and then you have very tiny perforations on the outside, and you essentially bleed water or fuel through them to cool the windward side of the rocket. According to information recently announced by SpaceX, Flight 7 will use the most advanced version of the heat shield. Based on this, most likely Elon's company will use this test flight to test the effectiveness of the metal heat shield. Additionally, as you can see in the recent photo SpaceX posted, nearly 50 of the heat shields have been removed from the surface of the Starship. It could be that they wanted to push the ship's endurance even further during this test flight. Or it could be that these panels were intentionally removed to test a new system like they did on Flight 4. A system like, say, a metal heat shield. This thermal protection technology is not new to rocket science. In fact, it is a very common technology for cooling rocket engines, film cooling, as they're called. This method involves injecting fluid between the combustion chamber and nozzle surface, as well as the hot combustion gases. Since fluids can be either gas or liquid, this can be done using either liquid or gaseous propellants. The goal is to form a barrier between the wall and the hot combustion gases, with the cooler fluid acting as thermal insulation. The simplest way to achieve liquid film cooling is by placing a higher concentration of fuel or oxidizer injectors along the outer edge of the injector face. Since the main combustion chamber tends to be fuel rich, fuel is typically preferred. This results in a ring of excess fuel around the outer perimeter, which lacks the necessary oxidizer to react with it. As a result, this fuel rich region creates a barrier that prevents heat from transferring from the main combustion gases to the chamber walls. Most of the fuel near the walls, which cannot react due to insufficient oxidizer, flows along the chamber walls as a film, acting as a buffer between the combustion gases and the walls. As this fuel likely undergoes a phase change from liquid to gas, it forms a vapor boundary layer, absorbing heat during the phase transition, which requires energy and helps protect the walls. It is also common to drill holes into the wall and leak a small amount of liquid fuel, particularly in areas with high heat, such as the engine's throat. Despite the advantages, they chose to skip this idea and use a lighter, more traditional heat shield. Currently, Starship utilizes approximately 18,000 ceramic heat shield tiles to protect its belly, a design similar to the one used by NASA's Space Shuttle. However, there's a key difference. On the Space Shuttle, each heat shield tile was custom shaped for a specific spot on the vehicle. While this ensured strong protection, the process of replacement and manufacturing often took months. In contrast, Starship's heat shields feature standardized hexagonal tiles, streamlining the manufacturing, installation, and maintenance processes, and allowing for faster, more efficient operations.
These shields, though highly effective at resisting intense heat, are unlikely to be fully reusable. Made from ceramic, they are prone to cracking and can expand or contract with temperature fluctuations. As Elon himself humorously puts it, you got a whole bunch of dinner plates stuck on the side of a rocket that's shaking like hell. Realizing this, SpaceX is always trying to improve its durability. Starting with the fifth flight, SpaceX introduced an upgraded heat shield design. This new version features an enhanced ablative secondary layer beneath the tiles, providing additional protection to the spacecraft when the tiles degrade during re-entry. According to Elon Musk, the improved heat shield tiles are approximately twice as durable as the previous ones, offering significantly greater resilience. Recent flight tests of Starship have demonstrated the superior protection of these upgrades, but they still cannot be considered truly reusable, which is why Elon wants to bring back the metal thermal shielding system, despite the added weight of Starship. If only there were a way to solve this problem. Wait, there is. A long-forgotten technology could hold the key to solving this challenge. You know, the use of an all-metal thermal protection system for spacecraft is relatively uncommon, though not without precedent. NASA has toyed with this idea a lot back in the day. In fact, they have created complete metal heat shields and performed various tests on them. Meet X-33 Venture Star, a proposed uncrewed subscale technology demonstrator for a suborbital space plane, developed by NASA and Lockheed Martin during the 1990s. The X-33 served as a technology demonstrator for the Venture Star orbital space plane, which was intended to be a next-generation, commercially operated reusable launch vehicle. The X-33 was designed to flight test a variety of technologies that NASA considered essential for single-stage to orbit reusable launch vehicles, or SSTORLVs. These included lifting body aerodynamics, composite cryogenic fuel tanks for liquid hydrogen, the aerospike engine, autonomous uncrewed flight control, efficient flight turnaround through streamlined operations, and metallic thermal protection systems. This metallic TPS concept seeks to decouple the thermal and structural functions by providing a metallic shell to encapsulate internal insulation, maintain panel shape, and support mechanical loads. This decoupling allows the use of structurally efficient materials and configurations as well as thermally efficient internal insulations. Of course, the functions cannot be totally decoupled. The structural connections between the outer surface and substructure must be minimized to reduce heat shorts, and the internal insulation must still resist inertial and acoustic loads. Metallic TPS concepts use a foil gauge, super alloy honeycomb sandwich to form the hot outer surface. This honeycomb sandwich consists of a foil gauge metallic box encapsulating fibrous insulation. The exterior of the metallic box consists of a honeycomb sandwich structure with 0.005 inch thick face sheets and a 0.0015 inch thick 3 16 inch cell honeycomb core. The 0.003 inch thick side walls are beaded to reduce thermal stresses and prevent buckling under compressive loads. Both the honeycomb sandwich and the sidewalls are constructed from Inconel 617, a nickel-based superalloy, allowing the TPS to function at temperatures between 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and 1900 degrees Fahrenheit, with occasional spikes up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. The inner surface of the metallic box is made of a titanium alloy, T6AI4V. In the previous design, the lower surface consisted of a titanium honeycomb sandwich with 0.06 inch thick face sheets and a 0.0015 inch thick 3 16 inch cell honeycomb core. Away from the panel's edges, the sandwich's face sheets were chem milled down to 0.003 inches thick, a hole covered with a 400 mesh screen to prevent liquid water from entering, is located on the lower surface of the panel. This allows the interior of the panel to vent to the ambient pressure, thereby reducing the pressure difference exerted on the metallic box. Internal insulation primarily prevents heat from flowing into the structure. Since the metal box preserves the structural integrity of the TPS, less durable but efficient insulation can be used within the box. This advanced heat shield has undergone a rigorous series of tests, including high-speed, high-temperature wind tunnel evaluations. The panels were also mounted on the underside of a NASA F-15 aircraft and flight tested at nearly 1.5 times the speed of sound. 
Further laboratory simulations replicated the extreme conditions the X-33's outer skin will experience during flight at altitudes of around 60 miles and speeds exceeding 13 times the speed of sound. Additionally, a successful thermal panel fit test confirmed the ease of installation and removal, showcasing the system's practical efficiency. After the cancellation of the X-33 program in February 2001, NASA shelved this approach to thermal protection. Few of the sample panels were acquired by the National Air and Space Museum for its heat shield collection. Now, what do these metal heat shields bring to SpaceX? Tests have confirmed that the metallic thermal protection system will shield vehicles from temperatures approaching 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit even though this number remains lower than the metal shield tested by SpaceX in 2019, which demonstrated the ability to withstand temperatures up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. With today's advanced technology, Elon Musk has the potential to completely modernize this over 30-year-old technique, transforming it into an exceptionally durable metal shield with unprecedented resilience. Because these metal heat shields were originally designed for a single stage to orbit vehicle, they would not be heavy. While it is unclear whether they would be lighter than ceramic heat shields, they would certainly be lighter than other metallic systems. Of course, because of their complexity, the cost to research and manufacture them would be greater than that of ceramic tiles. However, the long-term benefits of a fully reusable thermal protection system would ultimately make them more cost-effective after each flight. SpaceX could also redesign these panels to integrate with the existing ceramic ones, creating a heat-resistant system that utilizes two types of heat shields. Metal heat shields would be placed in areas most exposed to the intense stresses and temperatures of re-entry, while traditional heat shields could be used in less critical areas to reduce costs. One of the key factors behind SpaceX's remarkable success is their willingness to break from convention and relentlessly pursue innovation. Rather than sticking to traditional approaches, they boldly pivoted when they encountered setbacks, embracing a mindset of agility and fearlessness. When one path didn't yield results, they would say, screw it, let's try something new. No worry about losing face or sunk costs. That is also what sets them apart from the other giants in the industry. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.